In this next video, we're going to have a look at adding stairs to our house. So I've gone ahead and created two different kinds of stairs on this document here to show the difference between my sketch stair and my component based stair. So when you go to create new stairs under the architecture tab, you have two choices. Stair by component and stair by sketch. The difference is, if I click on this stair by sketch here, click edit sketch, you can see that it is sketch base. So every element has been sketched in. Now Revit calculates that for you when you draw that initially, but if you want to make any changes, you have to come in and manually edit that sketch. As for a component base stair, if I click on that and edit, you can see each individual part of these stairs is a separate component. That allows me then to come along and make adjustments. So for example, if I want that wider, all I have to do is click on the shape handle here and stretch that out as opposed to redrawing the sketch. So I'm going to go ahead now and draw in my stairs in my house. You can see here I have tiled my windows. So I've got my floor plan on the left and I've got a 3D view on my right with the section box enabled so I can see what's going on inside. So to add my stairs, I'm going to go into architecture tab, choose stair, it'll default to stair as component and there's a few things I can do here to start off with. Now if I have a look over here on my properties box I can choose any number of stairs that are there. Um, I'm going to stick with the 190 max riser 250mm going which is a default. The other thing I might want to change is my base level and my top level. In this case I'm going to go from a ground floor to my first floor and I can change the desired number of risers or desired number of stairs. This number here is based off these dimensions up there, so I, if I try to go less stairs, you'll find that you actually get an error. We can, however, increase that number, so we can have more stairs. So I'm going to go ahead and have an even number, so I can have an even section of stairs on my staircase. And then over here on my floor plan, I'm going to left click in any spot, doesn't matter where, as long as it's away from the walls so we can finally tune the position later. Click once and you'll see down in the sketch there's some light grey text that tells me 4 risers created, 10 remaining. So that's calculating that to reach my first floor I need a total of 14 stairs. Now I can go ahead and draw them all in one and have one straight set or I can do something a little bit more fancy and create some landings. So in this case I'm going to do a U-based stair to start off with. So I've asked for 14 total stairs so let's go up for 7. I'm going to left click and kind of come over here to draw my next slot. Now at the moment my location line is set run center so if I was to draw this second set I would need to make sure I was far enough away so that they are stairs one on top of each other. And you can see that location line is that blue dash line. So I'm going to draw the rest of those stairs, left click to complete. You can see as I'm drawing this it's updating in my 3D view to give me a preview of what it looks like. So once you've completed your stairs, you've got the correct amount of height you need, you can go ahead and hit the green check mark to finish edit mode. Once we've done that, we can do some fine tuning to our stairs. So for example, say I've done this around the wrong way, I actually want this opposite to what it is, I can click on my stairs here, and this little arrow there comes up, flip stairs up direction, so if I click on that, the up direction is now on the opposite side. So I can come along here, select my stairs, and move them a little bit closer, and the landing automatically adjusts. I can also come along and change the size of my landing a little bit if I want to and fine tune it until I've got some stairs that meet my requirements. In this particular case here in my house U-shaped stairs is a bit of a waste of space so I'm going to go ahead and delete these stairs. Again go up to architecture tab I'm going to choose stair change my desired number to 14 click anywhere on my floor plan, draw these seven stairs. Again it's set to run center. Uh, this time I'm going to choose run left. As it's drawn on the left, get my seven stairs and then 
come out from this corner and go up for my next seven stairs. I can go ahead now and press that finish edit mode and it's gone ahead and added some railings to my stairs as well. Let's say I want to change these railings, I can click on the railing over here in the properties box. We've got four built-in options. If I go ahead and click glass panel, it automatically updates the glass panel in my 3D view. I select the right ones there and again choose glass panel and it's updated accordingly. So I've completed my stairs. Now I don't like the height of my runner here, so I'm going to go back in on my ground floor, select those stairs, choose edit stairs. Now if I select my bottom riser here, you notice I have two different types of handles. If I click on this arrow and drag it back up, see that it's lowered the amount of stairs on my lower riser to four, and it's automatically calculated how many stairs I need up the top to get to my required height and in turn it's lowered that landing for me. The other option is this little dot here. I click on that and then drag this back close to my landing. You'll notice what it does is remove those stairs and then create the start of my stairs offset from that floor. The other thing I can do is grab that round handle and drag it left and right to add a bit of an angle to my stairs. And undo that again. In this case here, I'm going to lower that landing a little bit more, so I'll click on that, use the runs handle, bring that up. So I've got three stairs to start off with, got my landing, and then I've got the rest of my stairs. Let's go ahead and press that green check on that. Last thing I need to do is move that into a more appropriate position. So I can click on my stairs there, manually drag them around, or I can use the move command up here, click on move, choose the snapping point on one of my stairs, and snap that onto that wall like that. And that'll make sure that those stairs are flush up to my wall. Next thing I need to do is cut a hole in my floor so I can actually walk up these stairs. So in my 3D view, I'm going to select that floor there. On my project browser, I need to go to my first floor, make that full screen, and up in the Modify Floors tab, I'm going to choose Edit Boundary. Now it's giving me a preview of the floor underneath, and that's going to be very useful here for me to line up my hole for my stairs. In the drawer options, I can choose any number of these to get the shape that I need. In this case, I'm going to do a simple rectangle around these stairs. So I'm going to snap it to that side of the stairs, to the bottom right of the stairs. Go ahead and press the green check mark. No, I don't want my floors to attach. Let's get back into my 3D view. And you can see there I have a nice hole that is going to let me walk up my stairs. The last finishing touch on this is I need to add some railings around my stairs so I can walk up and down them safely. To add my railings, the circulation I'm going to choose railing, drop down menu I'll choose glass panel and I'm going to use the line tool to draw in my railings. So in this case I'm going to go from that point of the stairs to the corner, all the way along down there and all the way around until I've gone around my stairs completely but left an opening so I can walk up them. Once it's done I'm going to hit that green check mark. You see here in my 3D view I have a nice railing that go around my new stairs. While we're doing railings I'm going to go ahead and turn that section box off on my 3D view. I'm going to add a railing to my deck here. Back in architecture choose railing remember I'm using glass panel and I'm going to go ahead and draw in my railings. Now this time I could draw these in or I could come up here and say pick lines. I'm going to pick that line, that line and finally this line here. Hit that green check mark and in my 3D view you can see now I have a railing around my deck. 
So that completes the video on stairs and railings.